Today I made three different types of trifle. Two with fruit and one with chocolate. So guys, if you want to see how I made these trifles, please continue watching. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Efe and this is my kitchen, Efe's Food Kitchen. In this video, I'm going to be making a trifle or actually three trifles, yes. So this is some blackberries, some strawberries and i'm also going to be making another bonus one which is a chocolate trifle so over here is some pound cake which i just sliced in half i just cut like a slice of it off and that's what i am going to be using as well for the trifle and i'll be using a bunch of other ingredients which i'll be showing you as we go along so let's get started i already went and went ahead to wash the blackberries I took them out of the pack, washed the blackberries and washed the strawberries. So let's start guys. First thing I am going to do is slice the strawberries and the blackberries. So I'm just going to be cutting this into small pieces. But I'll leave some in the bowl for garnishing. So I'm going to be cutting it like so. Now continue doing it. So that's the strawberries all cut and I left three for garnishing. And these are the blackberries which I didn't cut because they're quite small. Also, what I'm going to be using is some palm cake which I bought from my bakery. This is very good quality pancake. You know, if you can't be bothered or if you're too tired to make your own pancake, please try and buy it from a bakery that makes good quality ones. It's much better to buy it from a home bakery where it's homemade. And I'm also gonna be using some double cream, a bit of sugar as well. And then also as well for the chocolates, I have some chocolate bars, uh, you know, proper nice chocolate, but I, I didn't want to use dark chocolate today or semi-sweet, so I'm using milk chocolate. So this is the pound cake. So what I'm going to do, this is a serrated knife. This is what you use to cut like bread and stuff. So I'm just gonna cut it in half. Make sure it's half. Make sure your knife is sharp. Just try and make sure it's half well this is like half anyway the reason why i'm cutting it in half because i don't want it to rise up to the glass too high because i'm going to um take make a shape circle shape out of it so what i'm going to do next is put the strawberry and the blackberry on the fire to boil a little bit and add some sugar so we can make some syrup so that's what i am going to do now so this is my cutter i'm going to use to cut it since i'm making three trifles so i'm going to be cutting three circles out of it doesn't have to be perfect guys it's homemade so we have our three slices of cake so those are the three circles of cake that I made guys so that's what's going to go into our trifle this is what I'm going to do I'm going to switch on the fire I'm going to put the fruits I'm just going to put a bit a few the blackberries so I'm gonna do it <laughs> together well this will go on its own corner <laughs> and the strawberry will go 
On est en train de voir. So basically, I'm just gonna make it into a syrup. I'm gonna add some water. Then I'm gonna add some sugar and leave it to caramelize. I'm gonna add a bit of sugar to the blackberries and a bit of sugar to the strawberries. I'm just gonna put it slowly on medium heat. So it starts to get soft. Then halfway through, like maybe after five minutes, I'm gonna mash it. Do you see the Blackberries are already starting to release its juices. So I'm just going to leave it. So next time I'm going to mash it a bit so it's soft. So as you can see, it's getting soft. So I'm using my spoon to mash it a little bit. So it's getting soft. And the juice from the blackberry is nice as well for the strawberries. Nice and soft. I'm not mashing it all together too. So it's been like four minutes. So I'm gonna switch it off. The chocolate that I'm going to be using, guys, is just basically just dairy milk. Any nice bar chocolate will do. This is milk chocolate, but if you didn't want to use milk chocolate, you can by all means use semi-sweet or if you have a preference for dark, then you can use dark. You know, it's entirely up to you. So I am going to go and melt this in the microwave. <laughs> I'm gonna take, start taking the wrapper off, put in this bowl, and just put in the microwave till it's melted. I'll say about maybe a minute or so. You don't want to put it too long, because if not, it will get hard and grainy. So you don't want that, so you have to keep checking it. So I'll say about a minute, that's it. And when you bring it out, then you just stir it. So I'll continue to take in all the chocolate off and I'm gonna melt it. And also I forgot to mention the cake. I I brushed it with a bit of warm milk, just round it and the bottom, you know, just to make it a bit moister because it's going to go into dry food. So I didn't want it to be dry at all. So that's the chocolate guys, all melted. So that's the heavy cream I'm using. Or you, it's called you can it's called either double cream or heavy cream. So I'm just going to put the whole lot in there. So I'm going to start whipping it now. Till this becomes, I will say between medium peak and hard peak. So not quite hard peak, but soft peak. I'm gonna add a bit of sugar, a teaspoon of sugar to sweeten it a bit. See, it's getting thick. It's the piping bag I'll be using for the cream. So I'll put the cream. So that's the cream. Guys, I'm, when I want to use it, I'm just going to snip a little bit at the, at the end of it. And this one, I'm going to mix with the chocolate. I am ready to assemble. So, in front of you are the trifle glasses, mini trifle glasses. Yeah, it's some custard that I made earlier. There's a recipe, there are two recipes for custard on my channel. So I have my three glasses here. I'm going to do it one at a time. So the first one that I'm going to do is the strawberry. So my strawberry, guys. So you have the whole strawberries for garnishing and the, the 
the one that is liquidized is the one that I melted, I cooked on the fire to be a bit soft. So now, first of all, I'm going to do is put the cake. My hands are washed, nice and clean hands. And then I'm going to put the several I'm going to bring it closer so you guys can see what I'm doing and that's what it looks like guys the next layer that I'm going to put you guessed it um, custard, of course. I love trifle so much, so sometimes I just like to make mine. So that's the custard's gone in. Next, I am going to do is put the cream. Actually, going in is the whole strawberries, the ones that are not really mushy, this ones, so those ones are going on the top. This is your own homemade trifle, you can make this for your husband, your fiancé, or your boyfriend, or your girlfriend. Just to impress her so now i'm going to put some cream i'm just going to cut the ends off and i'm just going to Make sure it's nice and flat on the top. Now I'm going to add the strawberries. That's it guys, that's our trifle. So I'm gonna make the blackberry next. So like I did before, I'm going to put the cake again. And this time, I'm going to put some blackberries. thing going in just make sure I put some syrup as well so the next thing going in is some custard and this one you don't really need to set it doesn't need to be set it's something you can just do and just eat straight away but if you wanted to Put it in the fridge by all means you can you can make it ahead and just put it in the fridge it's entirely up to you so the next thing going in i'm gonna make this a bit different than the other one i'm still gonna put some more raspberries and um, sorry blackberries and then now i'm gonna put my cream Guys, that's it. 
so that's it guys that's the blackberry so now we're going to do the chocolates so i can leave the whole put in my sponge if you didn't want to use sponge you wanted to do it different you could use um crushed chocolate biscuits mix it with some butter a little butter and a bit of chocolate and use that as your base but i want to use sponge cake because sponge cake is like a neutral color so that's our chocolate guys i'm just gonna put that on the cake a mess we want it nice and neat and clean the first thing i am going to do is mix some of the chocolates into the cream some of the cream just going to mix that Instead of the custard, I'm putting that in. Then, now I'm going to put some cream, not the chocolate cream, just the cream. transfer what I want I just want a flat surface so guys that's what it looks like on the top nice and flat I'm just gonna put a bit of chocolate flake you can't go wrong with chocolate flake I love chocolate flake I'm just gonna flake some on top so just give it the, the finishing touch I'm just gonna crumble it on top a little goes a long way you don't want to overcrowd it if not you just look a mess just a little yay there you have it guys that's our chocolate trifle how lovely does that look guys wow so i'm gonna clean this place up and i'm gonna show you all the trifles i'm making that's the blackberry trifle the strawberry trifle and the chocolate trifle so guys which one is your favorite one to be honest with you it's very hard for me to choose but my absolute favorite one is the strawberry trifle followed by the blackberry and then lastly the chocolate and this will keep in the fridge overnight but you need to use a plastic wrap to cover it lightly especially with the strawberries just giving you the choice to make three different ones it's not just for valentine's you can also make it for wedding anniversary or just any special occasion you know things like that so guys if you like this video please give your girl a big thumbs up guys like comment and subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in my next video and while i'm on it i want to introduce my new channel to you it's called chilling with efe chilling with efe the link is in my description so guys if you if you like to follow that channel that would be so appreciated so thank you guys um that channel is about vlogs uh lifestyle and you know what have you 
and this channel is just about food and everything cooking related so i'll see you in my next video bye